My name is Nilay Kumar. I'm one of the hospital medicine faculty here at the UW. And the study here uh, that I'm presenting is uh, entitled Comparative Outcomes of Transcatheter versus Surgical Aortic Valve Replacement in Patients with Chronic Kidney Disease. So <clears throat> surgical aortic valve replacement is a pretty high risk procedure. Uh, transcatheter aortic valve replacement is a novel alternative uh, in patients who have intermediate to a high surgical risk for aortic valve replacement. Most of the landmark clinical trials for aortic valve replacement have traditionally excluded patients with chronic kidney disease. And so therefore we decided to fill this knowledge gap by using an observational data set to compare the outcomes of transcatheter versus surgical aortic valve replacement in patients who also had a diagnosis of chronic kidney disease. Um, the outcomes that we looked at uh, in this uh, nationally representative database were in-hospital mortality, acute kidney injury, dialysis requiring acute kidney injury, as well as post-operative stroke. We also looked at several secondary outcomes, which I'm not going to mention here, just for the sake of time. Um, so we identified 14,000 patients with, who underwent transcatheter aortic valve replacement and nearly 20,000 patients who underwent surgical aortic valve replacement. And we found that they, uh, the patients with uh, transcatheter aortic valve replacement as expected were generally older with a higher burden of comorbidities. Um, on comparison of the outcomes, we found that transcatheter aortic valve replacement compared with surgical aortic valve replacement was associated with a lower in-hospital mortality a lower risk of acute kidney injury, lower risk of uh, dialysis requiring acute kidney injury, as well as lower risk of post-operative stroke. Uh, we also analyzed outcomes using uh, uh, something called a propensity match design, which is a statistical technique to, uh, to, uh, to adjust for confounding. And so on propensity match design, the outcomes were almost uh, the same in the two groups. So we found lower in-hospital mortality, lower risk of acute kidney injury, lower dialysis requiring AKI, and lower post-operative stroke in these patients. Um, and so the implications for future research are that in uh, future randomized trials, uh, they, they may consider en uh, enrolling patients with chronic kidney disease. We should also see uh, in, uh, in, in um, observational data sets, we should see whether these early benefits of TAVR uh, persist in the long term when compared to SAVR. So that, that would be the next step that our group is working on currently. Thank you.